Kevin and Bean Show on K Rock. First, let's talk about Sober Up. This is a product that you can take. Mm hmm. And if you believe the hype, it will help you sober up. I like it. You see the words sober up and you say, how many can I buy? Right, right. Kevin? I mean, this is made for you. I instantly say I need to try that. <laughs> but having said that, there's also the other side of me, which is there seems to be one of these every year that comes out. And right. it usually... And they don't really do much. It doesn't really do much. Yeah. Well, we wanted to find out more about this because our man Ralph Garman tried it at the Weenie Roast and said it worked great for him. So we have the man who calls himself the mad scientist behind Sober Up. Anthony Clavian joins us on the Kevin Amin Show right now. Hi, Mr. Clavian. How are you, sir? Hi. How's everybody? Very good. Yeah. Thank you. We're doing great. Now, are you actually a, a, an in-the-lab kind of guy putting ingredients together, testing things out? Are you the science guy or are you the marketing guy or both or what? Uh, kind of a little bit of both and kind of just learned it on the fly and... Uh one of the things I learned um, from being, you know, one of the smartest things you can do is find people smarter than you are in anything. Right. Learn mm-hmm. from them, collaborate. And so this particular product took me uh, about 10 years to develop. And wow. I, I spent time in Asia, Europe, America, and collaboration of probably 100 different doctors, scientists, and experts in every little field. Now, when it says utilizing the finest ancient Chinese herbs, roots, and other natural ingredients, that to me means blah, 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 blah. They all say, <laughs> because they all say that. Uh, there, there's some people that do say that, and there, but there's a lot of truth to that. That's why it said, um, for instance, when I started this about 10 years ago, and I said, I want to create a product that will actually sober you up if you're, if you're intoxicated or too far. And I want to do that in 30 to 45 minutes. And even when I was at uh, I was at Harvard speaking with them, they said, you know, that's impossible. And that was the common theme of most Western medicine and Western doctors. And even though their knowledge of the liver is so complex, it also misses a lot of the rudimentary nature of the liver. So I had to go to China where they have 5,000 years of, of medical history based off of herbs and roots. And I mean, there's a tremendous amount of knowledge there. How much well, of a difference can sober up make as far as you're a little too drunk and you don't want to be? Uh, well, that's probably the product's multidimensional. It can be used in different ways. But if you want to use it for that aspect of it, that's where what we've done has never been done before and definitely not on this level. And if you were to ask most doctors, they'd say no. Uh, so I use nanotechnology. So it starts going in, into the bloodstream the minute it goes in your mouth. Uh, starts working in about two minutes, and on average, your reduction is about 40% uh, in the first 10 minutes, 52% in 20, and Whoa. 63% in 30 minutes. Now, is this the type of thing, Anthony, that you could uh, you could literally take a blood alcohol test uh, before you take the pill and then take another one 20 minutes later and see that a, that significant a, a, a difference? In the, the clinical testing that we've done, and we've done it all uh, different parts of the world, we used uh, breathalyzer machines and blood tests uh, administered by physicians. One was at the University of Beijing, and those tests were actually gone through it because BAC is a blood alcohol content, mm-hmm. um, so and they measure the ethanol level within the bloodstream. Okay, uh, so that's actual what the product's meant to do. Now, it it detoxifies you from many things. It doesn't have to just be alcohol. It can be drugs, it can be bacteria, it can be toxins. It basically goes in, puts the liver into a fortified, optimal state, detoxifies you. That was part of the product, was originally developed for hepatitis patients. As an Hmm. all-natural, very strong, effective way to detoxify the liver of the toxins built up in hepatitis. Then the second component is it's a metabolizer, so it's speeding up your metabolization. And then the third component is, it's called a neurotropic. And what that is, is that's a, it's a type of product, whether it be pharmaceutical or natural, that actually works on the brain. And what our aspect does is it increases neurotransmission and cognitive thought. So That's what you need, Kevin. You need a little bit more of the brain-heavy aspect. That's why of this I drank pill. it this morning. Hey, uh, I want this to be true so badly, but no product can do all that. It just sounds too good to be true. Too good to be true? Well, you know, it, it pretty much does everything I just said. And the best way to... To I guess to prove it is, is empirical. You know, Pepsi Challenge, if you will. Take the product. You can use it in different ways and see how it lets you feel. Our effective rate is super high. Now that's where nothing is 100. You know, of the course. human body and the physiological of all of us is so different. So most effective products, whether it be aspirin that's 56 percent effective or five hour energy that's in the high 60s, anything above 65 percent is very effective for the for the public marketplace. 
Is, uh, is a product like this, Anthony, excuse me for interrupting, does a product like this have to get FDA approval in order to be sold in the United States? No, the way that, that we've done it is it falls under certain FDA guidelines and rules, and we have to be in an FDA-approved facility, FDA-approved ingredients, and there's a whole series of, of rules and procedures and standards that you must meet. And then you fall under those guidelines for the FDA, but there's not an gotcha. actual FDA approval. So you're not making it in some uh, some you know back alley Chinese uh, you know cockfighting ring lab or anything like that, right? <laughs> I just, I, there are I a lot of those. Sure. <laughs> there are a lot of those though, where they do put out the, the good drugs. So. I just want to make sure it's legitimate guys in white coats, you know, actual real ingredients, all that sort of stuff, right? It's actually a, a monkey knife fighting ring. <laughs> See, just as bad. Um, yeah. Sober Up is the name of the product, by the way. We're talking to the product evangelist, Anthony Clavian, on the phone here on the Kevin and Bean Show. Um, how much and where do people buy it, Anthony? Right now, the product's available online um, on our website, which is SoberUp.com. And then this uh, July, August, you'll see the product rolled out in a CVS pharmacy. Mm -hmm. um, nationwide, it'll start in the southwest, uh, kind of the west coast where we're based, and then it'll go east. They love the product. They're super excited about it. Um, GNC will be picking up later this summer. Um, oh, nice. We're a health, That's legit. We're a health wellness product. So we want to make sure that, you know, we're, we're being able to educate the public about, you know, liver health, um, proper hydration, and that the product can be used, you know, in multi ways. You can use it be, before you start the drinking if you want your tolerance to be higher and you, and maybe if you have a low, um, tolerance to alcohol, like an alcohol allergy. Um, you can take it during if you want to maintain and you're like, okay, I like where I'm at mentally and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get me more toxic or, or drunk. Um, you take it afterwards, which is most powerful, which is, you know, sobers you up mentally and physically. Um, I usually take it before I go to bed. You know, it depends on my night. If I want to go out and I, I like where I'm at or my home and I, I like my buzz, I'll take it before I go to sleep and I'll wake up the next day completely be sad. All right, Anthony, well, I want this to be true and I love it and I'm going to try it. Um, I, do, I do have one question. It's not a deal breaker. If everything you're saying is true, I'm all about it. But does it have to taste like ass? <laughs> I mean, it really tastes bad. It's not delicious, right, Kevin? No. Yeah, I would say the, the, it doesn't taste good. But it tastes of goodness, and it you know it's still it's a medicine. It's not a it's not a sugar product. But you can't know, you I, put I something in it so that it's? Yeah, you put vodka in it, Kevin. That's what you put in it. <laughs> That's how you make it taste good. <laughs> I'm just saying, you have some time before it gets into CVS. <laughs> but, but actually, it, that is a good point because the products you have right now with our our first batch that's going up, and our second batch is actually being reflavored by the top flavor experts. Uh, play in the world that are based now on we're right. talking oh, my lego yeah. now now you get a taste of like right. cherry now you got something <laughs> all right well listen we're out of time we're gonna have to leave it there soberup.com is probably the easiest thing to remember if you want to try some of this online or get more information about the product we've been talking to anthony clavian thanks so much for the time today we appreciate it